Hey, what's up, guys? I'm the Rums of Doodle, and welcome back to Tyrion Reese's Road to Division 1. We're gonna kick things off here in episode 2 by bringing a little change to our defense. We're gonna take out the silver defenseman that I was talking about in the first episode, Bowley, list him up on the market for around 3,000 coins. I think he's gonna sell for 2.6 or 2.7k. The reason why I decided to sell him on and to upgrade is because he had really good stats all around but his defending stats were a bit lacking and he was a silver which sometimes reflected on the pitch and it was annoying when these little weak strikers would get past them with no problem so instead i went out and bought mangala there as you can see for 11,000 coins i maybe overpaid a little bit because it's the beginning of fifa but i really wanted to get my hands on him and here we're going to jump straight into our first game against an almost full bpl squad except for cedric there at right back i think maybe he had some fitness issues so he just put him there because he didn't have any options but apart from that he had some pretty good players like Lennon, uh, Wellback and Alex Song. Our first opportunity here is going to come in the 40th minute where Pugba is going to pick the ball up at the top of the box, curl it off the crossbar and into the back of the net. Like I mentioned in the last episode, those are pretty much my favorite types of goals so I was pretty happy to get that. But here you guys are able to see a new feature in FIFA 15 which is the goal line technology. Obviously it wasn't really necessary for this goal in particular, I think EA was just kind of trying to show off. But who knows, maybe later on in the series, some goals are going to be iffy on whether or not they should be allowed or disallowed. And this technology, hopefully, is going to come into play. But I guess only time will tell, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But anyways, here we get another opportunity in the second half, where Pugba gets past an opponent with a roulette, past another with a ball roll. He passes it to Valbuena, who puts it onto his left, tries to curl it into the back of the net, but he puts it just wide. And that's actually how this first game is going to end. 1-0 for us, the only goal being scored by Pugba, so obviously no goal from Serie Ari. I was kind of disappointed not to be able to score with him in this game but at least we got three points in the first game so that's always good. In our second game here in Division 9 we come up against a full Bundesliga squad in the 4-3-3 formation. This guy had the likes of Draxler, Huntelaar and Muller up top. In the midfield he had Gunawan, Luis Gustavo and Sahin and finally in the fence he had Schmelzer at left back, Dante, Benacia and Piszczek so a very very strong Bundesliga squad. Our first, well, the first opportunity of the game is actually going to go to my opponent as he picks up a free kick within the first three minutes. And considering the distance and the angle at which he was at, I wasn't really preoccupied by this, but as he whipped it in, he headers it almost from the top of the box with Huntelar. And I was just actually really, really happy that I had Thierry Henry on my squad because he manages to get past his last defender. And whenever Thierry Henry is one on one with the goalkeeper, you guys already know that's going to be a goal for our team. So he makes it 1 1, gets his fifth goal of the series, and he's getting closer and closer to that 20 goal margin. But here my opponent runs down the wing, crosses it in, and both of my defenders just look stupid there as he just gets an easy header in the back of the net. I was really pissed about that, but I I just told myself I have to get back into this game so I take a long shot with Pugba and it goes off the post. At this point I knew this game was just going to go downhill from here but I get a last opportunity here in the dying moments of the game. Thierry Henry gets past a few opponents and completely fails with the last skill. Should have went with the ball roll drag back or something but instead my opponent clears it and that's actually how the second game is going to end. We drop our first three points in Division 1. We pick up a goal with Thierry Henry but I was really pissed off to lose this game. In the third match of this episode, we're going to come up against yet another 4-3-3 squad, this time in the false 9 formation. As you guys can tell, this guy had a full Serie A team with the likes of El Shawari and Guarin. But I know for a fact this formation was really OP last year, so if you guys want me to just try it out with Serie A at center forward, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, here it's my opponent coming up with the first chance of the game. Kabai goes for a tackle and his player falls over and whenever that kind of stuff happens, I feel like there's always going to be a goal that follows. Right on cue, Guarin to make it 1-0. Instead, it's going to be us in the 45th minute that's going to get an opportunity. As you guys can tell, it's a really laggy game. And I don't know if you guys remember, but in the last episode, we had a very laggy game as well. And none other than Valbuena stepped up to, to make it 1-1 right before the ref whistled. So I don't know if there's like a trait to score in really laggy games. But if there is, Valbuena definitely has it. But anyways, here's Benarfa that goes with the fake Rabona and the Ronaldinho flip-flop. And then rockets a shot into the top left-hand corner. I was pretty happy to get that goal and thought maybe it would seal the 3 points for us but no i go with a very bad clearance with my defender and instead it's my opponent that's going to make me play that's going to make me pay instantly and he makes it 2-2 in the 83rd minute and that's pretty much how this game is going to end so very bad clearance on my part basically threw away 
two points out of the three possible points that we could have got. So after three games in Division 9, one win, one loss, and one draw. Really not the best, so hopefully we can make up for it in the next game. And when I saw my opponent's squad, I definitely thought I could indeed make up for it, as I saw that he had a lot of players out of position. Like for example, he had a left back playing center back, he was playing Obama Young at left mid, Sydney Sam at striker, so I thought I'd try and take advantage of that and get the full 3 points out of this game. But instead it's going to be him that's going to get the first opportunity. He goes with a shot there with Sam and gets a corner out of it. And there Mangala, our new purchase, goes and says something to Mandanda. And whatever it is that he said to him definitely didn't work out. Because on the ensuing corner, the ball falls to Aubameyang's feet. And Mandanda lets it pass fly him to make it 1-0. So at this point I was once again losing in Division 9. And this was starting to get a little bit frustrating. So I thought I'd go with some pass and play here. Go with a skill move with Tira Ari. I managed to find the little man Valbuena in the box go with a fake shot and he manages to make it 1-1 i was really happy actually to get the goal i know i'm playing versus a bad team but i just really didn't want to drop any more points here in division 9 and here a bad clearance from my opponent's goalkeeper get the ball back to Tsiriori goes with the ball roll drag back and makes it 2-1 Tsiriori is so clinical in and around the box like whenever you get an opportunity with him 9 times out of 10 he's gonna convert it as you guys see that nice little skill move there to get past the defender and the rocket to get past the goalkeeper as he gets his 6th goal of the series but here in the 90th minute my opponent goes on one last counter attack and I tried to like keep him off there with Mexes completely fail and with no angle he manages to make it 2-2. I almost wanted to cry at this point guys, it was so frustrating to let it go past in the 90th minute, especially when I was leading this whole time, and to a bad team, it was just like the cherry on top, and at this point, I had one win, two draws, and one loss, only 5 points in Division 9 within 3, 4 games actually, this, this was really starting to get bad, and in the next game, look at that team, holy shit, Neymar, Benzema, in for Modric, Iniesta, Bale, Marcelo, Sergio Ramos, Mathieu, Dani Alves, Mandzukic, uh, whole, like, how am I even supposed to do anything versus this team, right? No, actually, this game was like 10 times easier than the last game, if that makes any sense. Griezmann finally comes up with the goal there in the 5th minute, manages to make it 1-0. He gets an opportunity here, he's going to pass through with one through ball, he's going to go run past my defense and... I really honestly only pressed B in that situation. I didn't like mash the B button or anything and my player manages to give away a penalty. Penalties in this game are really easy to give away so you guys have to be really careful with that but Neymar steps up to the spot. Uh, I didn't know which way he was going to go so I thought I'd just stay in the middle but he makes it 1-1 and I thought this was going to be yet another shitty game that was going to be really really tough for me but it wasn't too bad we get some nice pass and play and then a rather realistic goal with Kabai let's say because it wasn't really like a long shot or like a decent finesse shot it, he just manages to tuck it in to make it 2-1 but here I don't know if my opponent like didn't know who Thierry Henry was but he gave him just too much space and Thierry Henry with the chops gets past his opponent and manages to make it 3-1 gets a gets a goal in this game here my opponent just gives me the ball right back right after kickoff and that was definitely a mistake as we go on the run with a few opponents mess up a pass there but we've managed to get the ball back because i think he either dropped his controller or maybe had no more batteries i don't know we try and go here with the shot with Thierry Henry and once again he wasn't playing I know it kind of sucks to take the ball and just score when someone's not playing, but I mean, I, I, with the games that just happened and everything that was going on here in Division 9, I couldn't let any chances go. So I get pretty lucky here in the second half to make it 5-1 with Valbuena, and at this point, I think the game was pretty secure. But just to make sure, I thought I could go out and get another goal with Thierry Henry. He's all alone with the goalkeeper, and like I said in the beginning of the video, when he's one-on-one, -on -one, he's not going to miss, and he didn't miss. That, that wasn't a mistake. He actually got killed by a few defensemen, so picking up a penalty there with Thierry Henry with an opportunity to get his hat trick, which would mean that we get to open three packs if he manages to score this goal. So we're just going to wait a little bit, right, get it right into the middle of the, the little bar in the bottom left, and he manages to slot it into the back of the net to make it 6-1 and to finally get a decent win against an amazing team, which is kind of weird. I thought he was going to crush me, but no, we managed to get the win 6-1. We finally get another three points into Division 1. 
gets us a little closer to promotion which hopefully we're gonna get in the next episode but here we're gonna go with our three packs that i promised you guys whenever i would score a hat trick with here i would have to go with open some packs here was the team of the week at the time there was the likes of messi tevez uh jeko donovan but obviously messi was the aim we're gonna go with our three packs here griezmann on the first one and we get a big steaming pile of mediocrity like uh air japes would say we get koke there he's not too great only gonna sell for around maybe one or two k i actually got him team of the season last year which was pretty decent compared to his regular card this year but obviously team of the seasons aren't out yet or anything here in our second pack we get pretty much the same like nothing too great actually we're gonna get mika richards i you didn't even know that he was traded i thought he was still at manchester city but turns out he's not and i guess i'm a noob for not knowing that but yeah uh, i actually kept him in my squad because he was a very decent right back last year so i thought i'd maybe give him a go this year if i play him next to quadrado since they get that really strong link for playing on the same team but anyways here guys last pack of this little tiny pack opening and we get the barcelona goalkeeper as well as gignac a french striker so we go on to sell on the the, the goalkeeper not for too much maybe like two three thousand coins we put gignac in our squad we get it there too there as well that we're going to list up and that's pretty much going to be it for the episode guys if you enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe episode three should be out soon and i'll see you guys in the next one peace